Let's look at the left inequality first. So we can start by subtracting 7 from both sides. That will give us negative 3x is less than negative 21. And of course we want x alone, so we can divide both sides by negative 3. And remember that doing so means we have to flip the sign. And that will give us x is greater than 7. Now let's look at the right one. So we can subtract 5 from both sides here. That gives us 3x is less than or equal to negative 9. And then we want to divide both sides by 3. So then we end up with x is less than or equal to negative 3. When doing interval notation for this, we're just going to do one at a time for now. So the first one will be negative infinity to negative 3. And the other one will be 7 to infinity. Now in doing this, since there is the word or in between, um, we can use math symbols to represent that. So I'm going to combine the interval notation using the or symbol, which just kind of looks like a, a U. It's, it's called the union sign. All right, and let's go ahead and graph this. I'm going to plot negative 3 and 7. Since x is less than or equal to 3, we fill in the bubble, and that goes to negative infinity. And then since it's greater than 7 but does not include 7, we leave that bubble hollow and we shade to infinity. And that's the solution.